Hey, what's up guys? We're back at Jones Subwoofer Solutions. Got another amp dyno for you today. It is something you've probably seen. The BP Slayer 5K from Bully Performance. This is from their Slayer MD lineup. This is a 5,000 watt RMS amp. Pretty sure these are full bridge amps. They look a lot like the old Tar Amps HD series. Uh, we'll find out what it does today. Uh, didn't have a, a user manual that came with it and it didn't say anything on the box But I did look online and it said 5,000 watts RMS at 1 ohm and I believe it was 3,200 watts RMS at 2 ohms So that's what we'll be going by on the on the dyno And we do have our dual inputs plugged into it So real quick it did come with a couple screws for mounting Came with uh, one of these nicer base knobs that has a uh, voltage on it protect power in the clip light and what I like is it, it is a bigger that'll focus sorry it is a bigger knob uh, which I like a lot and it came with uh, network cable so that won't get pulled out at all so drop your guesses below let us know what you think this will do we'll catch you on the dyno we'll find out all right guys here we are in front of my dyno and uh, just real quick, and explain a few things before we get uh, the run started. The way we're going to do it, we're going to do certified, then we'll do uncertified, then we'll do dynamic. We're going to start at 4 ohm, then we'll do 2 ohm, then we'll finish with 1 ohm. This being a full bridge amp, not going to go under 1 ohm today, but we'll see what this thing has. Um, one real quick thing to note is uh, in, in my preliminary testing I usually hook these up and just give it one uh, uncertified run at like two or four ohms just to see what they do I don't think it clipped on the two ohm run um, but we'll, we'll see we'll see what it does so uh, again we're gonna start with certified we're gonna start with four ohms I don't remember if the website had a four ohm rating we'll find out what it does anyway we're at 14.97 volts. Here we go, the Bully 5000 at four ohms. And there we go, no clipping, but we got 2,744 watts, dropping to 14.7 volts. Kind of shouting today because of the, the fans on this thing. Sorry if it's a little loud. But we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna go to two ohms. Like I said, the website I believe said 3,200 watts at two ohms. We're at 14.93 volts. Let's see what it does. We got 4,386 watts into two ohms, dropping to 14.48 volts. So definitely doing more than rated here. And if I remember right, the 3K in the same lineup, it, it did do uh, quite a bit more than rated. So one ohm rated 5,000 watts. We're at 14.91 volts. Let's see if it'll do 5,000 watts. Yes, it will. We got 5,810 watts, dropping to 14.24 volts. So that is meeting rated performance and more. We'll go into uncertified. Well, guys, I think that's it. Um, that first uncertified test didn't do anything. And I came over and looked at the amp, and it is in protect. And cycling the amp power does not seem to recover it. So, looks like I will be in contact with Bully, see if they have any ideas. Maybe this is a faulty amp. 
but uh, I will post the results we got and I'll catch you back on the bench for a quick summary and we'll go from there. Alright guys, I've got this Bully Slayer 5K back on the bench. We can get a look inside of it. You know, I don't see any obvious signs of failure anywhere. I do see a little scum on top of the caps. Now, I'm not an amp repair guy. I don't know if these are bad caps. I don't know if that was the failure just a visual observation I'm making. I mean the caps themselves don't look bulged or anything. They aren't leaking onto the board. That, that could even just be residue from stickers that were on top of the caps. But literally I see nothing wrong. Again not being an amp repair guy. So you know I'm not going to hold this against Bully. Uh, I'm sure they will remedy this. I will be in contact with them and you guys will get an update. Um, but to be fair, you know, let's let's go over the features of the amp and As I said, we'll we'll get to the bottom of what happened to this You know, it, it could be anything it could have been something that happened when it was shipped to me it Could be a quality control issue that just slipped through who knows But I do know that there are people happy with these amps. There's people using them. I wouldn't be weary of it at this point so again, let's move on we'll, we'll take a look at the amp and as I said, we'll we'll get a review for you guys when I have it. So those are two watt power and ground inputs with approximately a 12 gauge remote input. And similar to tar amps and the sound digitals, you, you know, the typical full bridge, you do have the two fans on this side, the exhaust fans. And on this end, you have Tiffany style RCAs, which is nice. Left and right input. There's a bass boost from 0 to 18 dB. High pass or, or subsonic filter is 10 hertz to 1000 hertz. The low pass filter is 50 hertz to 5000 hertz. It does have a crossover that has band pass function, full pass function, or a high pass function. Gain and a remote a wire for remote knob. And then some oversized 8 gauge speaker outputs and you do have a power and a clip indicator there. So not a bad looking amp, it has some nice features, flip it around this way. Like I said, I, I know these have performed, who knows what happened on the bench, you know, fluky stuff can happen. Uh, I don't believe I did anything wrong and I honestly, I don't think there's anything wrong with this line of amps. Uh, something just happened with this particular one. So. We'll get to the bottom of it and I'll update you guys. So as usual, I want to thank you for watching. Appreciate all you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please give me that subscribe. I could use it. If you are subscribed and you haven't hit the bell, please hit the bell so you're notified when we post a new video. With that said, love you guys. See you next time.